Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Eileen Buckley. And I'm Bevan Castoon. Happy Dingus Day. Happy Dingus Day, Bevan. Thank and you. we are here atop of the Broadway market. We probably have the best view in the city of Buffalo of the annual, the 18th annual Dingus Day Parade right here in the city of Buffalo in the Broadway Fillmore District. Oh, for sure. We definitely have a bird's eye view out here. So we're set to see a lot of floats, a lot of Polish dancing, and a ton of music. Absolutely. And we're seeing a sea of red now. Everyone wearing their red in Polish tradition. Now this parade started at Memorial Drive. It is heading west down on Broadway and then it will end at Fillmore. So we're just kind of in the middle here and we're just as we said starting to see the very beginning of this annual Dingus Day Parade. Buffalo the Dingus Day capital of the world Febin. Yeah no for sure. Now we actually have a second camera that's below us. It's already getting a, a, another shot just for us to have that special view. Now Eileen and I we're both donning red we're not even Polish, but we're getting ready to immerse ourselves in the Polish culture. Absolutely. That's what it's all about. You know, this Broadway Fillmore District is where immigrants settled here many, many years ago. And this has just become a tradition for so many families and generations to be down here to kind of pay tribute to where their families started their traditions here in Buffalo in Western New York. And I understand you're so this is my first parade, my first Dingus Day parade, also yours. You're our, you're our resident Buffalonian. So tell me about Polonia and the and the history behind wearing red. Well, I'm not sure quite about that, but it also goes back to um, some of their religious beliefs and, and, and what have you, and it's a long-time tradition here, again, of the heritage that's here in Buffalo, and so many uh, people here are already starting to, I saw some squirt guns going, I yeah. saw some pussy willows, <laughs> those are the traditional things that you see here at the Dinka State Parade. Right now, Febin coming down the line here, we have the uh, Erie County Sheriff's Department on the mounted uh, unit, and then behind them, we have those beautiful beautiful traditional Polish dancers and they're waving and doing a little dance as they come down onto Broadway. Yeah, no, that's super cool. I see that little, it looks like a convertible maybe. They're waving their Polish flags, just lots of cool, and, and the horses are out here, very just giving a good representation of the Erie County uh, law enforcement. And you know, so many floats will be heading down this way. There's different divisions and they have many different floats that will be coming through that you will see here today. We're so glad, hopefully, that you're joining us to watch this great St. Uh, Dingus Day Parade here in honor of the end of the Lenten season. You know, mm -hmm. remember the beginning of the Lenten season, you and I talked about yep. making those sacrifices. Yep, yep. This is the tradition. This is remembering the end of those 40 days of sacrifice mm -hmm. that people do during the Lenten tradition. And now they're celebrating. They're going to celebrate with a lot of food and beer and tradition. Yeah. Here come those great Polish dancers. Aren't they beautiful? I no, love their seriously. traditional dresses that they're wearing. And speaking and young of church, ladies, we've got Saint, and correct me if I'm wrong, Saint Al Adelbert Basilica. It's Adelbert. Adelbert. Saint Adelbert Basilica. They're coming down now. St. Stanislaus's banner is ahead of oh, them. There so go. there's St. Yeah. Stanislaus. That is a Father Brian Zielinski, and he is famous for his broom. He loves to use that broom oh, wow. to douse people with holy water. Catholic tradition of blessing people, um, in the resurrection of Christ. So you bless people, and he loves to have the broom. He, did, he was at our church for a short time, and that's what he did with all of us. And you really get doused with that the holy awesome. water. <laughs> Now, next up is the Chop and Singing Society. Actually, Mary Beth is in this parade. She was just telling me that she was getting ready to, to march with them. You might actually see, oh, there she goes. There she the is. Red. Oh my Mary goodness. Beth is Our marching Mary through. <laughs> Yeah, the Chopin Singing Society, another rich tradition here in Buffalo and Western New York. Mm -hmm. Just a great group of talented folks. People that don't know, Mary Beth has a beautiful voice and she does a lot of singing mm -hmm. on her free time. I saw her at services on Holy Thursday evening in the North Buffalo parishes. There's Mary Beth waving at everyone. Aww. It's terrific. Got some beautiful ladies here with their crowns on. Oh yeah, I love the crowns. Next up, I'm not sure what this, oh, Jurassic Park. Oh, there we go. Hey, oh, 716. Now this, this guy's got it right. He's, he's driving with pussy willows attached to the back of his bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> 
Very clever. So there's that rite of sprinkling with water. Uh, it has become such a traditional celebration. And as we mentioned, it's also, you know, the baptism into Christianity and bringing Catholicism into Poland. Just uh, for traffic purposes right now, too, Broadway is uh, shut down right now from Wilson to Young Street, and Fillmore is closed from Sycamore to Paderewski Drive. So if you're trying to come down here, just be aware of that, that, uh, you know, traffic is going to be delayed, and people are here all this great tradition celebrating. Here come some more folks in their traditional Polish costumes, beautiful culture, really, beautiful. just beautiful. So detailed, too, the dresses and the clothing that they're wearing today. It's just terrific. So, Eileen, there's this question of pussy willows or water. It's a yearly debate among Dingus Day revelers. The tradition holds that on Easter Monday, boys would sprinkle the girls with water and tap them with pussy willows. And on Easter Tuesday, then return the favor and at modern day dingus parties it's a common <laughs> practice that both men and women trade water splashing and pussy willow spanking equally that's right because you know the boys squirt the girls with the water and the, the girls tap the pussy willows back kind of as an interest with that willow branch so it's pretty uh, exciting <laughs> time for them um, in all in good spirit i know several years ago when i marched uh I, I, you know what? I said this was my first one. I think I was in the parade one year. They, they just oh. douse people with uh -huh. water. It's crazy. It's one of those annual traditions that people just get soaked from. Okay, now, here comes the Butter Lamb Express car. <laughs> and we all know the Butter Lamb is an important <laughs> tradition that people buy down yep. at the Broadway market each season, each Easter season for their table and their Easter dinner. And look at how they're squirting people out of the car, too. That is That's hilarious. great. We've got Groundhog Day Buffalo right in front of that car. <laughs> That's great. So many people are out here lining the streets of Broadway. It's pretty exciting. Yeah, it really is. It's like a, it's a sea of red. It really is beautiful. And again, it started down at Memorial and is moving up west on Broadway. It'll end right at Fillmore. T-shirt. <laughs> That's great. So they basically throwing themselves like one big party after the Lenten season with this parade. This is the major highlight of their Polish tradition. And, and it's a tradition for so many Western New Yorkers too. So many come down here from all over the region. We're still waiting for some more floats. I've got some great classic car coming through here right now. <laughs> See, I think next up is the Polish Heritage Dancers. Excellent. Some beautiful dancing and waving to all. Fevin, I was looking through the list here of the, and, and this is a, a parade lineup, whether they're all here or not, we're not so certain, but in the f Division One here, there's about 17 different floats coming through, so it's pretty exciting. And then we have more divisions after that in Division Two, we have Division Three, so a lot of floats, a lot of people here, part of this Dingus Day celebration in Buffalo. Here comes the great group of Polish heritage dancers. See some really young little ladies down there too, and little gentlemen in their outfits. They're so cute. Oh, they're they're so waving adorable. little oh, and look red and white pom poms. <laughs> it's a pierogi pop. Adorable. Oh, that dog looks so happy. There's also a lot of vendors down here. I know there's food trucks down here. There's also folks with their carts selling a lot of uh, great parade items, for the, especially for the kids. Oh, here's some ladies. They've got their pussy willows in hand. <laughs> yeah. Another big, it looks like a, almost like a limo bus there for the Polish heritage dancers again. They've got quite a big crowd here. 
Oh, look, they're <laughs> protecting themselves from the squirt guns by using an umbrella. <laughs> That's clever. <laughs> See, we're safe up here, Fabin. We won't right. get too wet up here today. <laughs> we should be pretty good unless somebody... Uh, is able to squirt us up here once they see us. That's a great idea. Yeah, look at that, a whole limo bus for the Polish Heritage Dancers. That That's great. Cool. Oh, <laughs> he's getting quite wet. You see the Eagle pickup truck. Oh, there we go. And of course, in true Buffalo fashion, they're already singing the that's terrific. <laughs> Has that tailgate appeal, doesn't right. it, Evan? <laughs> well, it's certainly great weather for this today, too. I mean, the sun went down a little bit. It's not as warm as it was in the last hour, but it's certainly easy enough to stand outside. It's a little windy, but it's great yeah, weather. Tough. April 1st, this is no April Fool's. <laughs> Nice float. They've got red flowers and what are they? Throwing out some probably candy to folks. The other lady on that float has her umbrella so she doesn't get squirted. <laughs> people on the floats are also squirting. <laughs> so they're fighting back. That's great. Wow, there's lots of folks on that float. That's great. Yeah, we're looking at East Side Polish Pride. Beautiful. You know, to let everyone know that while there, these folks are all heading down in this parade, there's actually parade float awards. There's four categories. So there's the Dingus Day Capital of the World Award, Best Use of Red and White, Best Use of Pussy Willows, and the Tops Best Family Float or Group. So they will all be awarded for their hard work here today in making their floats look the best they can. You want to, to talk about, you want to elaborate on, on those awards? This Dinga State Capital of the World Award, that's, that sounds pretty huge. It does, doesn't it? Because that's what we've been named because of our work here. So it's to be awarded to a float or participating group that best visually depicts Buffalo's unique distinction as the Dinga State Capital of the World. What and about I, the next one? Well, it looks like best use of red and white to be awarded to the float or participating group that most effectively uses the colors of Bologna to decorate a float, vehicle, or even a costume. And the best use of Pussy Willows goes to those that uh, will challenge participants to make a float or a costume out of Pussy Willows or to use the most Pussy Willows in their parade entry. So that makes sense because I'm seeing a lot of that. This truck that just passed us by has a lot oh, of Pussy Willows in it. Right it's right there. And Top's best family float group. Now that award will go to the family that be demonstrates best their collective Polish pride. They go all out, don't they, Fabin? It's pretty they exciting really to That'll see be a all tough this. Pick right there. It would be. <laughs> These folks are having fun squirting everyone as they. Oh, they're not going down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they are not going down without a fight. Oh man. I 
everyone is a little Polish today in the Queen City. Wouldn't you say, Fabian? It's really exciting to be yes. down here. Yes, just, definitely. You know, just people just having a really good time. And there's a great police presence down here. Mm -hmm. We've noticed that throughout the time we've been down here uh, when we were setting up earlier. And they're keeping watch over everyone, too, which is great. Yeah, it's good to see. Now look at this. Playing some traditional Polish music on a float. That's impressive, playing an instrument and moving and it. And moving at the same time. <laughs> and getting squirted. Okay, right. <laughs> So here's one of the pubs coming through. Oh, that is so cool. Cute little pub crawl, horse-drawn pub crawls. Beautiful. Look at the horses. They're gorgeous. Yeah. And of course, they're trading squirts back and forth from their squirt guns. <laughs> <laughs> wonder if there's any good beer in those squirt guns. All right. Tell us what's over here. <laughs> It's great because when you look all the way down Broadway toward, you know, Memorial, where it started, again, as you said, too, it's a sea of red and a lot of, you know, the red and white tradition of their colors. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's really nice to see. I mean, you would, you would think we're at a, a Chiefs parade with all this red. <laughs> no, that's right. <laughs> Not with that Bill Shout song, though. Right. A lot of bubbles right now, too. The Carriagers Social Club, all the bubbles coming out of their float. That's great. Fantastic. Bubbles are coming up our way at the rooftop. Yeah, that is so cool. Fevin and I were able to reserve this special spot today. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah, shout out to our engineer folks and the Channel 7 team. Strawberry Island. Strawberry Island. Oh, Strawberry oh, Island chocolate. chocolate. They've got two SUVs coming through. I think they're throwing out some delights. <laughs> Looks like they're throwing out some candy. The kids are running oh, for that is, it. Oh, oh, great. that is so cool. Oh, that's great. Something for everyone. <laughs> Someone's trying to get a let's go. Buffalo chant going up here. There goes a little peep on the uh, on the car. So I'm not a oh, peeps person. Are you? Not at all. They're just a little, a little too cute. sugary. Yeah. <laughs> In this day of eating well, I just can't eat a peep. But <laughs> yeah, I know a lot I've of folks been... like them. So yeah. I'll take a Cadbury egg, but not a not a peep. Everybody's having a great time. The kids are having fun collecting candy down there as they throw different things out to the kids. It's and great. It's super cool to see. Uh oh, this I'm looks, just getting a kick out looks of like this. trouble. <laughs> Put a little dingus in your day. <laughs> Put a little dingus in your day float here. They are really squirting and going crazy, so. And oh, they have rain gear on. They look like they're rain gear they from the, came almost like the made of the mist rain gear. Yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> that was very smart of them. Yeah. Oh, check the, that. She's on fishing roller blades and she's has a floaty. Blades. She's water skiing on Broadway. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Only in Buffalo, I think you would see something like that. Right. You know? That's what makes the city, the Queen City, such a special place. what happens after a long winter and a Lenten season, right? Yep. Gotta celebrate a little. Stolat celebrating our heritage. 125 years. Congratulations. That is amazing. Got an old it's a nicely done, car. like, wooden. Yeah. Is that a sheep or a cow? I can't tell. Or a buffalo. I can't really or tell. Or it's a buffalo, okay. I don't know. Is it a buffalo? It's hard Maybe. to tell. Yeah. <laughs> but very creative. They've got a race car in this next float. And it looks like a, is that a panda driving the It does car? look like a panda <laughs> driving it. <laughs> Come some great 
more Polish dancers in their traditional costumes. We still have a ways to go here, and we thank you so much for joining us on this Dingus Day from the Dingus Day capital of the world. We're in the Broadway Fillmore District. I'm with Feb and Cassahoon, and we're out hey. here trying to enjoy the parade and tell you what it's all about. It looks like there's a little bit of a standstill, so that's why we haven't been seeing any floats come by our mm -hmm. way. They're just starting to come back again. Movement right now, so got a little ways to go before they get to us. Fevin, we were down here earlier and a lot of people were already in place and it they were just yeah, you know, an hour before the parade. Yeah, it's, yep. it, it's amazing how it's really packed in down here too. Mm -hmm. Gotta love the dedication and just really paying respect to those who really came out here and <laughs> wanted to make sure that they had they put on a good show. Really do. <laughs> I'm looking at Kevin down there. He had the best view. <laughs> He's the one who's controlling the uh, the second. He's the making second sure you see everything. Yep. That's terrific. Hopefully Kevin's not getting too wet down there, though. That's the other yeah, problem. Yeah, that right? is true. <laughs> we don't want that. So here comes some more of the parade getting closer to us. It looks like Local 210, which is the Labor's Union. out candy too. Yeah, they always do. Usually at the Labor Day Parade, you'll see them doing that too. Kids love it. Oh, and a drone just flew by. <laughs> Wave. <laughs> like the I local 210 has a couple of different vehicles coming through here a float and a truck it's like a walking billboard yeah and it's digital too on that mm -hmm. truck it's great labor's local 210 wishing everyone a happy dingus day squirting people too. <laughs> <laughs> squirting people and I think is that glitter? I can't tell what that is. Uh, I don't know. No, he's got a bottle of water. <laughs> it just looks glittery from up here, doesn't it? Oh, I see, I see. <laughs> oh, wait, are it's those a little nasty. Wait, those are water balloons. <laughs> oh, they are. Okay. One had a water bottle too. That is savage. Now we've got several Jeeps coming through here. I'm trying to see if we can see it looks the like names. It's the Rachel and Western Jeep Gang. That must be who it is. It's hard to say what division they came from though. So you got all different Jeeps going through here. Oh yeah, they're real indeed. Different colors. White one passing through, red, lime green, blue. <laughs> got a little violet. Kids seem to like it. Oh, that guy has a, a water bottle he's squirting <laughs> it's with. It's like a little Windex That's great. bottle. Yeah, a little Windex oh my bottle. Gosh. Homemade, it's like his homemade <laughs> little bottle. That's a great idea. Are still all the Jeeps going through. Yeah, it looks like That's it. great. Check out, check out the guy from the window. He's, he has like this automatic <laughs> squirt gun or something going on. What happens though when they run out of water? <laughs> oh my goodness. 
this. Oh that's amazing. God. Now that's creative, right? That is very creative. Oh, this this lady's getting oh, really she doused. Is drenched, yeah. <laughs> she seemed to mind. It's certainly just gotta embrace it. The temperature keeps dropping though, I can tell. <laughs> As the sun goes down, she's gotta be cold. That's great. So the end of the Jeep's here. It's like a, I don't know what this is. This is like a dancing something. Yeah. I can't quite tell what that is. <laughs> The Safes. Oh. Oh, I see. The Safes family and friends truck trailer with music. Oh, look at the hanging pierogies. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was at the K Sisters, uh, was it last week, about mm -hmm. a week ago, that make the pierogies. Oh. And uh, it was just incredible to watch them and do all their work. Here comes members of the Erie County Fair. They participate in the Stingus Day event as well. The fair seems kind of far off though, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> We're still kind of at the end of winter, but yeah. hey, this is... It's good you to know, think summer. Right. Another reason to push through. <laughs> for this float, but I don't see any name on it. Just a lot of folks having fun and squirting away. We've got Oaks dumpster truck passing through right now. And they are bringing their A game with the squirt guns <laughs> for sure. House Buffalo passing through too. Oh, there you go. That's a nice colorful float too. Mm -hmm. They go. All the different flags on there and red and white balloons. And that's traditionally, that's a, a German um, bar. Yes. So it's cool for them to actually be out here during a Polish heritage event, embracing that. <laughs> Guy's back with his squirt bottle. Now here comes one of the larger floats I think we've seen so far. Yeah. Oh, Ironworks. Yeah. So the Ironworkers, is that, is that what it no, says? Local or? six, yeah, you're local right. Local six. So we've got more labor. A long time tradition as a, a labor town. Mm -hmm. So the iron workers are on pretty much a very large tractor trailer tandem. We've got a whole concert going yeah. on and everything. So we got a band in the front of the float, and then just a lot of folks jammed in the middle. Heck, I see a lot of even win best float. A lot of pussy willows too. Yeah. They're just passing them out. Oh, and it looks like a little bar on the very end. <laughs> wow, that's that has got everything. That's what I call an all-inclusive boat float. That's right. Whatever. Yeah. Buffalo Fire Department. Got several fire trucks coming down the way on Broadway, making their way down. Oh, let's 
let's see, this actually is the, this one's the Lackawanna Fire Department. The Lackawanna Polish Firefighters. <laughs> A lot of noise and showing a lot of spirit out there yep. for Dingus Day. But well, he's got Throwing quite the super goodies. soaker on there. Yeah, he sure does. <laughs> oh my gosh. Why don't they just use the fire hose? <laughs> interesting now. <laughs> here says camp everything and they look like they're having a lot of fun yeah and they're on Glitterfoot Rock Road it looks like <laughs> that's really cute So just as much as many on the floats are squirting everyone, I'm seeing a lot of, even the kids, <laughs> dousing some folks on this float yeah. here. <laughs> They're doing a good job of it. One young lady is just using her bottled water. <laughs> approaching very slowly. It's an oversized truck. Moving kind of slow. You know, I was looking to see how everyone hasn't run out of water, and I'm noticing there's a case of water down there oh, well, where they're replenishing their, that their squirt guns. It. I was like, how 
want to do this. <laughs> Whole lot of water going on. <laughs> there we go. To the tune of Let's Go Buffalo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so this float is carry many Ukraine flags. That's very sweet. <laughs> They're doing it in unison. this next float that's coming up. People are people are grabbing something that's flying out of the truck. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if it's candy or maybe some something. I'm hoping it's candy though. Pussy willows. Oh, yeah. See, now that's creative. There you there go. Oh, and they're 
they're passing out pussy willows. That is so cool. That, That's they fantastic. might actually win for most creative. Great idea. Dingus Day, Buffalo, the Dingus Day capital of the world. Thanks for joining us. 